Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you for some common mistakes in the construction of this reinforcement design so let's get start guys you can see guys this is the junction between beam and column they provided three steel rods extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment but this is not the proper way for extra steel rods that's why because extra steel rods should be provided to the distance of l by 4 here guys you can see this is not sufficient length as well as on the other side they did not provide the extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment guys you can see this is simply supported beam on the top of this junction they did not provide on the other side if you see here the junction between beam and column they provided here 5 feet extra steel rod on one side 1.5 feet on the other side 3.5 feet so this is not the sufficient extra steel rod length that's why because extra steel rod should be provided to the distance of l by 4 l is the clear distance between two columns and we have negative bending moment to the distance of l by 4 but they did not provide with proper way so this is the big mistake in the construction of this junction between beam and column as well as you can see this one same they provided on one side which is about about five feet on each side this is about 2.5 2.5 feet from the center of this column as you can see clearly on the other side you can't see as well as you can see guys the stirrups design is not proper spacing you can see the first stirrups should be placed with the distance of minimum two inches to the distance of l by four where we have maximum shear stresses as you can see guys the spacing is same which is about seven inches hooks you can see which are bent on 90 degree so this is the other big mistake spacing is from 9 to 10 inches so guys this is not the proper steel structural design for this top beam as you can see hooks are bent on 90 degrees so it should be provided on 135 degree guys you can see they provided at the bottom lapping length so this is the other big mistake don't provide the lapping at the bottom portion of the beam If you need to provide lapping length so the lapping length should be provided after l by 4 so to the distance of l by 5 you are able to provide the lapping length which should not be less than 50d unfortunately they did not use the structural drawing they don't have a side supervisor to guide them during steel reinforcement construction as you can see clearly this is the junction beam this is the junction between beam and column which is very important to design properly this is the other junction between beam and column you can't see any extra steel rod column is 12 by 12 inches they used eight steel rods dia is 12 millimeter depth of the beam is 16 inches by 12 inches three steel rods at the bottom three at the top so this design is not sufficient for five-story commercial building because they don't know what is steel structural drawing so therefore they are doing simple job just uh, they construct uh, it on uh, you can say they don't uh, they don't have any supervision on this side so therefore a steel fixer is their steel structural designer so therefore they will face more problems in the future as you can see everything is wrong guys so this is not the proper design of beam column spacing is same to the distance of l by 4 are at the middle three steel rods at the bottom three at the top 
they did not use any sidebar same design for all beams they don't know what is structure load so according to the structure load they should design beam column and steel reinforcement according to the steel structural drawing guys you can see they will provide their lapping length guys you can see clearly this kind of videos can help you because this is a practical video if you are making this kind of mistakes so be careful for this kind of construction if you are working on construction side guys you can see this is cantilever beam also you can see the design of cantilever, cantilever beam which is not proper the length of this cantilever beam is about 7 feet 3 steel rods at the bottom 3 at the top same like simply supported beam as you can see the other one distance between two column is here 18 feet the other side is 20 feet sorry 16 by 20 feet short short beams are 16 feet long beams are 20 feet so the design is not proper for this kind of construction this is five story commercial building cantilever beam you can see guys clearly which is wrong so what is the proper way so i have already discussed in many videos you can check in uh, my youtube channel practical videos about cantilever beam as you can see you can't see any development length as you can see for a domestic building commercial building if that is g plus two story why not if that is g plus one story so you should hire the structural engineer to guide you to give you the structural drawing to do the proper design which can help you in construction as well as you will be happy in the future of this kind kind of construction if you don't use the structural drawing according to the structure load so you will you will find a lot of cracks in the future hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye